Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at how to change your short username. Now on your Mac, you've got user accounts. You may only have one if you're the only one that uses the Mac. And each user account has a long username, usually your full name, and also a short username. That short username is also the name of your home folder. If you look under Users and then there's a name of your folder. For instance, it could be MacMost for me or it could be just your first name or just your last name or some sort of abbreviation. Usually you set this up when you get a new Mac. It asks you for your full name and also a short name to use for the user account. However, if you got your Mac used or some other method where somebody set up an account for you ahead of time, then you may want to change the short username and the home folder name for your user account. So for instance here I've looked in my Finder at my Macintosh hard drive and then in the Users folder here I can see there's my home folder name and it puts a little picture of a house there. I've got other users here as well and the shared folder and the guest user account folder. So this is the short username here. It's MacMost. And it's also the name of the user account. So in System Preferences if I go down here to Users and Groups I can see that the current user is named MacMost. That's the name of the account. In this case I also have the full name named MacMost. Typically if uh, you had a short name like say that was Gary then the full name would be Gary Rosenzweig. So then the question is how can you easily change this? Well. You can't. You can't usually change it. Matter of fact, you really can't change it at all. You see, the username and the home folder name are tied into tons of things in the operating system that have to do with that user. Different applications, different system processes, everything uses it. That's why it's critical to pick the right name. So when you set up your Mac, be careful to set up the right short username, something you're never going to want to change. And if you choose something that's not quite perfect but can live with it, then live with it. Now if you have to change it, like say you bought a used Mac and has somebody else's name as a short username, then the thing to do is right away before you use that Mac to create a new account, a new administrator account, set that up with the short username you want, then beginning using your Mac under that new user account. And then later on you can delete that old account that you don't need anymore. Now believe it or not the process for changing your short username is similar. You don't change it. What you would do is create a new user account with the short name that you want and start using that new user account and leave your old one behind. So for instance here I would unlock the account right here. The once it's unlocked I can use this plus button at the bottom here to create a new user. And since it's my Mac I would use an administrator account, create it all, and this account name here, that's your short username. So for instance let's go do that and I'll create one. Let's go and just do that. I'll create a short username of just Gary. I'll sign a password, something good and strong, and create the user. So now I've got this new user created and I would simply switch to it and start using it. Now of course if I've already been using my old account what I want to do is transfer files from that old user account to this new one. Now you can do that many different ways. For instance you can simply drag the files to an external drive and then switch users to the new account and drag them into your new account. You can simply drag them to the shared account or you could drag them into the Dropbox of the new account from your old account and then reposition them. The important thing is to get them in the right place. You have your documents folder, you've got your movies folder, your pictures folder, all of that. Establish that. Apple actually has a different way for doing this. So at this page at the Apple site they have detailed instructions about another method that they recommend and that is to enable the root user. This is kind of like a super administrator. And once you have a root user you can log on and do things you can't even do under an administrator account. And what they have you do is actually change the folder name, the home folder name of your existing account to the exact short name that you want to use for your new account. So for instance I can change the folder from MacMost to Gary. And I'm doing this under the root account so it's there are other folders outside of the account I'm currently using which is root. Then create the new account called Gary and what should happen then according to the, their instructions is you should get a message that basically asks if you want to use the new uh, the folder that you renamed 
as the folder for this account. And this could make things a lot smoother. So you can go to this page and follow these instructions which include instructions of how to enable root account uh, and cover various versions of Mac OS X as well. Now I would only recommend doing this if you consider yourself to be a pretty good expert at handling systems and maintaining your Mac. If you're not sure of any of this, I would maybe seek the help of a professional. Maybe a friend that's done this before. Uh, maybe take it into a Mac shop or hire a Mac expert to give you a hand because this is pretty delicate stuff. And before you do any of it, one of the things I would do is, of course, back up. Back up to Time Machine. Maybe even make a second backup of your user account just to be sure to another drive because you are messing with the very fabric of your user account when you do this. So I hope you find this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.